What's very important if you're going to grow on this path is to stay very focused on what's going on. Because it's very easy, like everything else, to get lost in all the noise. They shouldn't call it spirituality. They should call it working on yourself. I like to call it investing in yourself. Working on yourself. What does that mean? It is so simple. It means if you sit down to play the piano and you've never played before, you're not going to do terribly well. Not with fine music, the classics. But if you really want to play, doesn't mean you can be a concert pianist, but if you really want to play, you can learn to play. There may be some physical limitations, the length of your fingers, this or the other thing. So you pick some pieces that don't stretch it as far. There may be some limits, but if you want to play, you're going to play. You just decide, I am going to learn how to play the piano. I don't usually interject my personal stories, but when I was in college, sophomore year, downstairs in the basement, there was an old broken down piano, and I didn't play the piano, never played the piano. And I decided little Mickey, it wasn't me then, it was him, that he was going to play Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. Period. And he had never played, and didn't play, and didn't read music. He had to go E, G, B, pick it, hit it, pick it, hit it. I mean, one movement, the other main movement. And I learned it, I played it. I can play it to this day, reasonably. And it just showed That's why I can teach this. You can do anything you want. And now, that doesn't mean you can end up owning the Empire State Building because you want to, or you can make a mountain move because you want to. But when you're dealing with yourself, and the only competition is yourself, the only thing in the way is your patience, your commitment, your frustration. In other words, the only thing in the way is you. Then you can do anything you want because you can beat you. And I'm telling you, there's only one thing that could stop you from being a reasonably good pianist, a reasonably good tennis player, a reasonably good whatever you want. And that's you, isn't it? So you're in your way of achieving what you want to do with yourself. There is a world of you There is a world inside of you. There's a world that is involved with you and what you do and your abilities and your goals and so on. That is what spirituality is about. It is about investing in yourself. It is about sitting there saying, right now, I wouldn't have the patience to do it. Mickey did. I couldn't. I know I wouldn't. I'd sit there to play and it wouldn't work well and somebody would walk by and I'd be embarrassed. Whatever it is that your mind would say, right? I want to change that. I don't want me to be in my way. So you stop and you look at it, and and people always say, I have to be honest about myself. Well, when you start playing tennis, you're no good. Be honest. That doesn't mean you don't learn. You know that. You accept that. When you go into trig or some math class, when you walk in that first day, you do not know how to do trig or calculus. You don't walk out and tell the professor, I, I can't do this. I don't know how to do calculus. He said, well, why well, are you taking the course? He said, but I don't know how to do it. I don't understand. I can't take this course. I don't know how to do it. And he's like, well, who would do that? Or walk onto the tennis thing with a tennis coach, and he hits you a ball, and it goes into the net. You hit it back in the net. Oh, I can't do this. I just showed you I can't do this. I'm not a tennis player. But I don't understand. That's why you came here to learn. No, you just saw I can't do it. How stupid does that sound? You have to understand that's what you do with yourself. You literally say, that's not me. I can't do this. I don't have the patience for this. I I can't handle someone who did something like that. That's the end of the relationship. In other words, you just accept that it is the way it is. You're as good of a tennis player as you are the day you step on the court. You're as good as math as your first day in a class. That's stupid. It's also stupid to deal with yourself that way. 
And that's what we're here to talk about. And that's what I mean by work on yourself. It means exactly the same thing as working on your tennis game, working out, working on your math. It means right now, I'm not so good at it. But if the only thing in my way is me, I can get better, period. And I'm telling you, I want you to look at this whole spiritual growth thing. Forget the rest. Look at it that way. It is basically saying there are things that I would like to be good at within myself as I go through my life. I'm going to start right now and every day. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say I want to be good at it then if I'm not, stop. I want to stop smoking. I did for five minutes, but then I smoked again. I guess I can't stop. No. In other words, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to learn to play tennis. You're going to have to show up multiple times. You're going to have to put up with failures. You have to put up with hitting into the net over and over again. Oh my God, I have to put up with so much. Anything you want to do, you're going to have to put up with the fact that it requires effort. It requires work. It requires time. It requires investment. Why are you not willing to do that with the most important asset you have, yourself. You live with yourself. People work on their relationships. Oh my God, they go to counselors. They put up with all kinds of stuff. Really, some relationships are not so healthy. They put up with it anyways, you know, this and that. And they do so much to try to better because the relationships are important. What about your relationship with yourself? There is nothing more important than your relationship with yourself. You live with yourself every single second and you give yourself a hard time. You have much more trouble getting along with yourself than you do anybody else. If you behave the way you do with yourself with anybody else, you'd never have a relationship. You pick on everything you do. You bring back things that happened years ago, don't you? And give yourself hard times about it. And you just eventually get to the point where you say, I need to invest and be willing to work on myself. It is not going to be easy. It is going to take time. It is a gradual process. But like anything else, I can better this. You who's in there need to be conscious, centered, willful, and mindful that there can be nice things inside or messy things inside. If you hang out with the messy things, your life is going to be a mess. If you hang out with the nicer aspects of your being and raise them up, your life is going to be easier. You're going to attract good things to yourself. There's going to be the ability to, to achieve and succeed at whatever you want to do because you're coming from a higher place inside. It is not random. It is not something that you have to just tolerate. You have the ability to raise yourself. Did you know that? If I sat there and asked you, do you ever get down? Do you ever feel a lack of energy? Do you ever feel down? Do you ever feel depressed? Do you ever feel you can't succeed at things? And kind of you lost your will, you lost your power, you lost your stuff. At other times, do you feel energized and excited and ready to take on the world? Which one do you want? You go out onto that tennis court. You can play a certain way, and other times you play terrible. Which one do you want? You want the better you. It's just as simple as that. I am telling you, you have control over this. You are not helpless. You can be whatever you want inside. It's your kingdom. There's nobody else in there. Would you like to learn to be able to raise yourself so that when it starts to feel down, you can bring it up? And when it's up, you can bring it higher until eventually the downs are what used to be your up. That's what I want for you. That is what spirituality is. It is you waking up that you are in there and you deciding, I like sunny days, I like high, I like enthusiasm, I like love, I like excitement, and I am going to learn to work with myself so that I have learned to raise myself. You've been listening to an excerpt from Michael Singer's The Untethered Soul Lecture Series, Volume 9, your direct path to inner freedom.